Hey guys, this is Chris here with the Age of Reason. This is just a quick video to remind everybody about the importance of family. Now, things come up in our lives every day where family will decide to selfishly sever their ties with us based on how we how we perceive the world, how we think about the world politically, socially, and it, it is uh, selfish of them to do this to us, because what we have at the end of everything, no matter what, is our family, yeah, our children, say hi. Our brothers, our sisters, our parents. And sometimes people forget about where they come from. Sometimes people forget that they had siblings who were babies like this. Bigger kids. If you're an older sibling, we used to take care of your little little siblings. Sometimes people forget the basics. We all started off small. We all started off as family. What we've seen increasingly in this world, of course, is the division of family. The decay, the breakdown of family. As our children are taken from us, or our parents have their differences, and they divorce or split. Clearly, most people these days have been touched by this. Now why is this? Of course, because people are living in this reality of the now. Yeah. Of the now, of the I want, of the it's good for me. People don't have the strength required, necessary, that our father's fathers, our mother's mothers, our grandparents, in other words, had to get through things. The problem becomes uh, becomes bigger when we have siblings turning on each other, throwing each other out, thinking they're better than each other, etc., because they don't see the same way as we do. Now, what good does that do? Because we all need to remember any time a serious thing happens in life, a funeral, a loved one in the hospital, what happens? All of a sudden, everybody comes together. Why does it take that to bring everybody back together? Why? Because people have been so brainwashed. The agenda against the strong family has been moved aggressively. A hundred years ago, people didn't just throw each other out due to differences of political opinion, social opinion, things like that. And as we see an increase, yeah, as we see an increase in these agendas by predominantly leftist personalities wanting to destroy 
the family unit through things like introducing homosexuality and introducing do whatever you want and in some countries and coming to the United States soon introducing things like having sex with minors being accepted those of us who have a root in that these things are wrong well we're thrown aside meanwhile realistically and honestly we care we care so much that we continue to tell our family members this isn't the way what are we doing what do you what are you doing what's going on in society you know once you become a father or a mother everything changes everything changes I never believed it until I became a father I have two children now and all I want are all of my children to know each other and to love each other and to be happy part of my personal battle my personal life war is getting to see my son but I can't give up he's my boy and he's got a great beautiful wonderful amazing little sister here right here waiting for him and I'm a big brother and I was proud of my siblings and he's gonna be so proud as well yeah yeah family is the most important thing that we have the blood in our veins Do whatever you can, guys, to get your family to remember that, to realize that. This is just a quick little blurb, guys. It's about it, really. Like I always say, keep both eyes, all three eyes open. Let's keep going, and let's strengthen our families, our siblings, our mothers, our fathers, our uncles, our aunts. We should never throw each other away. Remind them of that, no matter how much they might look differently on you or anything. We're just trying to keep everyone reminded of what's important all right guys i gotta go i'll touch base with you again of course this is chris with the age of reason